Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. We are studying an introduction to statistical quality control. Quality improvement in the modern business environment. In this video we will discuss in details about deeming 7 deadly diseases of management. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe, and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects, to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Deeming frequently wrote and spoke about the seven deadly diseases of management. He believed that each disease was a barrier to the effective implementation of his philosophy. The first, lack of constancy of purpose, relates to the first of Deeming's 14 points. Continuous improvement of products, processes, and services gives assurance to all stakeholders in the enterprise, employees, executives, investors, suppliers that dividends and increases in the value of the business will continue to grow. The second disease, too much emphasis on short-term profits, might make the numbers look good, but if this is achieved by reducing research and development investment, by eliminating employees' training, and by not deploying quality and other business improvement activities, then potentially irreparable long-term damage to the business is the ultimate result. Concerning the third disease, Deeming believed that performance evaluation encouraged short-term performance, rivalries and fear, and discouraged effective teamwork. Performance reviews can leave employees bitter and discouraged, and they may feel unfairly treated, especially if they are working in an organization where their performance is impacted by system forces that are flawed and out of their control. The fourth disease, management mobility refers to the widespread practice of job hopping, that is, a manager spending very little time in the business function for which he or she is responsible. This often results in key decisions being made by someone who really doesn't understand the business. Managers often spend more time thinking about their next career move than about their current job and how to do it better. Frequent reorganizing and shifting management responsibilities are barriers to constancy of purpose and often a waste of resources that should be devoted to improving products and services. Bringing in a new chief executive officer to improve quarterly profits often leads to a business strategy that leaves a path of destruction throughout the business. The fifth disease, management by visible figures alone, such as the number of defects, customer complaints, and quarterly profits suggests that the really important factors that determine long-term organizational success are unknown and unknowable. As some evidence of this, of the 100 largest companies in 1900, only 16 still exist today, and of the 25 largest companies in 1900, only two are still among the top 25. Obviously, some visible figures are important, for example, Suppliers and employees must be paid on time and the bank accounts must be managed. However, if visible figures alone were key determinants of success, it's likely that many more of the companies of 1900 still would be in business. Deeming's cautions about excessive medical expenses, his sixth deadly disease, are, healthcare costs may be the most important issue facing many sectors of business in the United States today. For example, the medical costs for current and retired employees of United States automobile manufacturers General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler currently are estimated to be between $1,200 and $1,600 per vehicle, contrasted with $250 to $350 per vehicle for Toyota and Honda, two Japanese automobile manufacturers with extensive North American manufacturing and assembly operations. The seventh disease, liability and excessive damage awards, is also a major issue facing many organizations. Deeming was fond of observing that the United States had more lawyers per capita than any other nation. He believed that government intervention likely would be necessary to provide effective long-term solutions to the medical cost and excessive liability awards problems. So, we have discussed in details about Deeming's seven deadly diseases of management. Thank you.